Get that real quick. The book of Luke, chapter 7 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, Where well, unto then shall I liken the men of this generation? Because look at the men of our generation right uh -huh. now. Look at, look at how our men are living right now. They walking around with no purpose. No purpose. We got a bunch of grown ass men who walking around with no purpose. What happened to the what happened to the Martin Luther King? What happened to the Malcolm X? What happened to the Marcus Garvey? These men, when they seen they men, when they seen the condition of our people, they did something about it. Right. They wasn't sitting around fighting each other, getting drunk, smoking cigarettes, getting high in the middle of the day. Bitch. What happened to those men? Bring it up. That's what we asking. That's what we looking for. Read. And the Lord said, Well, unto you then shall I lighten the men of this generation. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, he sat back and he looked at the generation of our men. Bring it up. He looked at you, Tony. He looked at you, Memphis. He said, what, are we, what would I liken them to? What are they like? Read. And to what are they like? Uh-huh. They are, they are like unto children. God said, the men, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all like children. Right. Because guess what? You don't want to rise up. You don't want to do what you know is right for your people. Right. You worried about yourself. You worried about getting high. You worried about getting drunk. You're not worried about the state of your people. Right. While the white man is destroying you every single day, you do nothing about it. Wake them up. Read it again from the top. They are like unto children. Verse 31. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, Well, unto then shall I liken the men of this generation. Uh -huh. And to what are they like? What are you like, Tony? What are you doing to wake up your people? What are you doing to reverse these curses that's been put upon us that the soldier read for you earlier? Do you know what I do? What are you doing, Tony? I work every day. Uh -huh. I take care of my wife. She didn't work for 13 years. Uh huh. Because I'm handling my business. Uh huh. I love my kids. My kids love me. Okay. Right? I take care of them. Okay. Right? That's what I do. Psalm I uh, 94 16. Listen, I used to live. Uh huh. An unworthy life. I sold drugs. Yep. I beat up people. I killed people. Uh huh. Right? But I turned my life around. Okay. But so now. Right? What, what are you doing for your community, Tony? What are you doing about these young men out here selling drugs? Well, what are you doing about these young men getting drunk? Tony, hold on. Frank, I got question? you. I'm going to let you answer the question, but I'm still asking the question. Tony, Franklin just rolled up and stole, was it Memphis he stole him? Right. He just ran up and punched Memphis in his mouth. Smoking for 30 years, 20 years, you just doing it slowly. You just What are you doing about that, Tony? Read the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? You see what God said? Tony, God said, who's going to rise up against the evildoers? Because the whole reason why we at the bottom of society is the evil that we've done to each other. Right. The evil that we've committed against our people. Right. God said, who's going to rise up? Who's going to look at the state of our people and do something about it? Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Uh -huh. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? God said, who's going to stand up for the workers of iniquity? Right. Who's going to say something about our men? Look at the way our men are. We getting drunk. We getting high. We sitting at a bus stop with no purpose. 
Who's gonna rise up? Who's gonna stand up for the black men? Bring it up. Who's gonna stand up for the 19 million abortions that's been committed? Teach. Who's gonna stand up for the Native Americans that are missing? Who's gonna stand up? Who's gonna rise up? Give me Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. I think that's what I want to teach us. Because guess what? Day after day, our people are getting drunk. Our people are getting high. No purpose. Evil is amongst our community. How come everywhere, hey brother in the bus stop, hey brother with the, uh, with the highlighter hat, how come every community that our people are in, there's destruction? Every community that our people are in, it's gang banging. Right. It's drug dealing. Right. Single parent household. Right. But Tony just said, oh, I take care of my kids. I take care of my wife. Well, what about your community? What about these young thugs that's destroying our nation? Right. You got that? Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. And though the Lord gave you the bread of adversity and the waters of affliction. Because that's guess what? Because we sin against our God, he's afflicting us. Right. We in adversity. How you doing, bro? Hey, I got a question for you. Who's gonna rise up for our people? What happened to the what happened to the Malcolm X of our community? What happened to the Marcus Garvey, the Martin Luther King, right. the Fred right. What happened to him? What's wrong with the older generation, bro? Yeah, come see us, bro. We'll be right here, standing up for the Lord. That's right. Read that again. I see a 30 and verse 20. Uh -huh. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the waters of affliction, yet shall not thy teacher be removed into a corner anymore. God said he's not going to remove your teachers in a corner. Right. We're not going to be hiding anymore. We out in the public, in the chief place of concourse, compelling our people to wake up. Right. Asking our people, who's going to rise up against the evil that's being done? 